All right, everybody, Physio Trader here. So let's take a look at some of the trades on the day. Overall, looks like the S&P 500 started off with a little bit of a push down, and now it is fighting back to break above VWAP, starting off about 20 minutes late on the day, which I actually am perfectly fine with. Let that first couple minutes weed its way out. I do like this trend line if the S&P wants to come back down, but if not, I'm looking for long-sided trades. Looking to go long here on AMD, 113.60 on the break to the upside. See what it wants to do in there, 113.58. I want to see a breakout or bailout. All right, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. We do have, I'm sitting right at resistance, so it's a breakout or bailout. Ooh, look, Carvana is really starting to move too. All right, I think I'm just going to close out of this one. I'd rather spend some time looking at Carvana. Come on, I want to give it some time. Let's go. Above 160. 113.60. I'm watching Carvana on the other screen. All right, I don't like it. Let's see if I can get out there. I got a partial fill. 69 out of 400. Come on. Back test. All right, out there, minus $70 on that trade. All right. Well, that's a bummer. That's okay. Kept it small. Perfectly fine to get moving forward. All right, so Carvana, nice breakout. This is what I was hoping for AMD. All right, looks like it might come back a little bit, retest off that volume weighted average. Nice little spike over 45, 47. Looking to go another 400 long on this, but I want to see a little bit of a pullback off the top. All right, my order's out there at 38.19. No fill. Let's see if we'll come back down this time. All right, in there. 38.19, 400 shares long. All right, let's get a retest of this high and get a further break to the upside here. Just 400 shares. I don't necessarily want to add to this, though. Could just be the fact that I took a loss. I don't necessarily want to take another loss, and then it ruins my morning. All right, let's get above 38.40 and make that push back to the upside. Getting stuck at 38.20 on the level twos. All right, 38.25. Let's get above 38.30. I'll look to take 300 out at 38.30 just for safety. Not necessarily profit taking, but I thought this thing was going to be a, a much faster move. And as such, I don't want to risk it. All right, took out 300 at 38.39, so a 20, 20 cent move on that. So basically at a break even, I have 100 shares remaining. I'm going to throw in a stop at 38.15, basically just a, a break even on those last shares, those last 100 shares. Let's see if this thing wants to make a, another push to the upside. Come on, make that break. So I've got my stop out. That red line indicates my stop. All right, break above 50, 57, 60. Good, good. All right, I'm just sliding my stop up to 38, 41. So now it's a guaranteed winning trade. Basically, I'm going to knock in around $70 on this one. Ooh, oh, wow. Oh, wow, I didn't get filled. Good, good. Keep going. Keep going to the upside. There we go. Break 60. 38, 60, 70, 80. Beautiful. Breaking on the level twos. I'm going to slide this up. Break the 80. Break the 80. All right. Slid it up there to 64. And stopped out there. So another 43. So now 107 on that trade. So very nice. 
Um, didn't play it perfectly, but... All right, looks like taking a look at Amazon. Amazon and a nice little bearish river dropping to downside. Let's see if we can get ourselves a little bit of a bounce and a short opportunity down. But I want to see this thing bounce a little bit first. I want to see this consolidate and continue to fail. Come on. Good. At this point, I'm basically a break even on the day, about $30, so I don't want to risk too much getting rid of it. I don't want to go red again. All right, here we go. This is what I was waiting for. I'm going to go 300 shares just to protect my risk a little bit on this one. I want to see it break below 60 in there. A partial fill, only got 60 shares filled on that. 133.62, can I get the retest? 60 out of 300 on 133.62, there it completed the fill, so now I'm 300 shares short. I don't like how it got stuck at 50 though, 133.50. Come on, let's get a bigger break than that. If this thing breaks 50, I wanna see it really drop quick. If not, I'm just gonna take the loss. I'm gonna get out 42, 43. Uh, I didn't like it. I was I was expecting getting to thirty eights or lower. This thing's holding on. This thing's holding on tight. I'm gonna get stopped out. That's okay. All right, stopped out there for a very very small win on the Amazon. But again, just this is risk preservation at this point. So I'm just preserving my risk, preserving my capital. BBIO up sixty, almost sixty eight percent. Haven't seen things move in that large a percent in quite a while. All right, looking to go long 200 shares in there, 30, 54. And we got stuck at 30, 98 as the top. Uh-oh. I'm going to throw in a stop just because, not that I think this thing is necessarily going to collapse, but... Again, I want to break out or bail out. So if it's not breaking out, then I'm going to bail out. And I might just take the very small loss on this. If we do not get over 30.75 quickly, I'm out. Again, in there at 54. All right, out there for a $10 loss. So... It just wasn't moving the way I wanted it to. That's that's perfectly fine for me. All right, so Amazon didn't go any further. Meta getting stuck. Tesla having a hard time, can't break the 292 barrier. NVIDIA, so close to yesterday's close, and it's really having a tug of war going on here. The S&P 500 holding up above the VWAP makes me want to go long. I mean, look at this thing. This thing gapped down at 448 on the low, 449 as the market opened, and... Holding strong. Mm. Do I want to go long spy calls? Or do I want to do NVIDIA calls? I think if NVIDIA breaks this 450, uh, 455 to the upside, I think this thing might really actually move just based on how that SPY looked. I know technically I am counter trend. 
or trend reversal rather. But I don't dislike this. I'm up 70 on the day, so I don't want to risk too much. Um, it's not like I have a lot of profit to give back. In there, one contract at 1050. Let's see if it can make the break. 454, 70. If I get out at 11, that's a $50 scalp. Here, I'll just put my stop in at 11. All right, my stop is in at 11. Shooting at 11.30. Get back up there. My stop is in at 11.20. Come on, get above 11.40. Got to get above 4.55.30 and stopped out there. For a $65 move on one contract, so I was risking less than that. Walked away now, $135.54 on the day. Um, it's just one contract, too. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just going to call it there. I got some other stuff to do this morning. Um, looks like Carvana would have went a little bit further. BBIO was a wonderful trade to get out of. Tesla still going sideways. And uh, awesome. All right, so I'm going to call it there. Thank you guys so much. And I will catch you all in the next one.